Hey, welcome to this video. I'm Prajwal from PrajwalShinde.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add images from Flickr and Photobucket to your blog. Flickr and Photobucket are the largest photo sharing websites out there on the internet. The main advantage of hosting your images or adding your images to Flickr and Photobucket and then adding them to your blog post is that it will save a lot of web space on your server. Say you are hosting your website on a server which has less web space. In that case you can host your images in these websites like Flickr and Photobucket and then add those images to your blog or website. Another advantage is that it builds community around your images. Flickr and Photobucket are just like social media sites where people will be able to see your images that you've uploaded to these websites. Once they see these images, they can leave a comment and start a conversation and build a community around your niche or the industry that you're going to blog about. Another important advantage is that it helps in search engine optimization as well. A lot of images that are added to these photo sharing sites come up in Google whenever a relatively associated keyword is typed in the search bar. These are some of the advantages of hosting your images on the Flickr and Photobucket but there are some disadvantages as well. So what are the disadvantages? The first disadvantage is adding these images from Photobucket and Flickr onto your blog will slow down the time taken by your blog to load. So whenever your website is going to load in front of your users and visitors it is slow because it needs to access the photo that is stored in the server of Flickr and Photobucket and then display it in front of your visitors and readers. So that makes your blog and website a little bit slow. The second disadvantage is that the images that you upload to these websites are not owned by you. Right. Say in future if Flickr or Photobucket decides to remove your account from the database so whatever images that you've uploaded on the server is gone and they won't be displayed on your blog as well. So my recommendation would be to host your images in your own web server. So if you have been following our videos and following our recommendations of owning web hosts like HostGator or Bluehost or GoDaddy, you will have unlimited storage space and unlimited bandwidth so you need not host your images on Flickr and Photobucket. But if you're a person who's looking out to build a community around your niche or the industry, wants more exposure, you can go ahead and upload your images to Flickr and photo bucket and then add it to your blog as well. In order to add images to Flickr and photo bucket, you need to sign up for a free account with them. Once you have a free account with Flickr and photo bucket, you'll be able to log in and add your images to their servers. So log in now to Flickr and photo bucket and show you how you can add images to these websites and then add those images in your blog post. Once you log into Flickr, this is how the home page of your Flickr account would look like. To upload your images, go to the option here which says upload photos and video. And by the way, I forgot to tell you that Flickr and Photobucket are not only photo sharing websites, they also share videos as well. So you'll be able to upload your videos to Flickr and Photobucket and use them on your blog as well. So let's go ahead and click on this option which is upload photos and video and upload one of our images to Flickr. It will bring you to this page where you need to click on this option 
to choose your photos and videos. Once you click on that option, it will bring up this window where you can browse the image or the video file and upload it to Flickr. In this case, we will be adding this image which is Internet Business 2. Select the file and click on Open. This will add the images to your Flickr account. Now you'll have different options here like you can make this image to be private that is visible only to your friends and family or you can make it public so that anyone can see them. Once you are done with these options and other settings you can click on this option which is upload photos and videos and that will upload the image to your account. Once you finish uploading the image you can go ahead and add a description of your image. In this case I'll just add it as internet business and you'll also be able to add tags. These tags are important when it comes to search engine optimization of your image. So make sure you use your keywords in these tags and add it. In this case I'll again use it as internet business and click on add. So once you're done with the tags title description go ahead and click on this option which is save and this will save all the settings to the image that you just uploaded. There it is. This is the image that we uploaded just now. Now to add this image to your blog post all you have to do is click on this image first. This will open a dedicated page showing you the image and on the top you'll have some options here which says actions and some of the social media sites like Facebook and Twitter icon displayed. Click on the down arrow which is next to it and you'll have an option which says grab the link. Copy this URL or the web address. This is the web address where the image is hosted on Flickr. Go back to your blog post Select the area where you want the image to be added and click on that area and go ahead and click on add an image option once again. This will open a window where you can browse and add the image but in this case we'll select this option which is from URL. Click on this option and these are the options that will be displayed. In this place where you have image URL and you'll have a small box next to it, click on this box and paste the web URL that we copied from flickr.com. You can also add the image title, the alternate text, just in case your image doesn't load, this text will be displayed. I'll add it as Internet Business 2. And you can also align your image accordingly and you can also put a hyperlink to your image. In this case, I will add it as projurshinde.com. And once you're done with all these options, go ahead and click on this option, which is insert into post. This will add the image to your blog post. As you can see here, the image is very, very big for the blog post and it would look a little odd when we publish it. So we can click on this image and click on this option which is edit the image, reduce the size accordingly and also change all the other settings here and also by clicking on advanced settings and changing the different options of the image. Once we are done with all the options, go ahead and click on update and the changes will take place on the image on the blog post. Once you are done with all the editing and uploading of the image, go ahead and click on this option which is update. This will update all the changes that was made to the blog post. If you're adding a new image to your new blog post, you, you'll have an option which says publish here and once you hit the publish, you'll be able to publish the blog post onto your blog. Now the post is updated. Let's have a quick look of how this would look like on our blog. There it is. We have successfully added two images to our blog post. 
again I would recommend you to edit and optimize your image to suit your blog before you go ahead and add it to your blog post this is how we'll add the image from the photo sharing website like Flickr same applies to the photo sharing site photo bucket as well the only difference is a bit of change in the interface everything else remains the same so the more you start uploading your images to your blog post and the more you start publishing more blog posts you'll get a hang of it and it will make your blog look amazing i hope this video helped you in understanding how easy it is to add images to your blog post and overcome all the technical difficulties if you have any questions or if you have any difficulties you can leave it in the comments section below this video and I'll make sure I'll answer it as soon as possible. So that was a video showing you how to add images to your blog post from Flickr and Photobucket. Now for more resources like this one, you can find it inside Rapid Blogging Video Guide along with the 7 day step by step ecos on blogging. To get access to all this amazing content, simply visit gradualshinde.com. Until next time, I wish you all the success for your quest for blogging and your online business.